Welcome back, welcome back. So, I leveled up, I used the souls I got from killing the, uh, the witch, also known as the Bed of Chaos. And now I am going to head down, because I think dark places are real neato. If you get my drift. You, it's your fault! You sorry fool, enough. See, he's pissed at me, but fucking Kath didn't show up. What the hell? That's really annoying. I've wanted that bloody armor. I don't have a holy weapon for this, but I don't really have much worries. I should have given the um, firekeeper's all I had to the firekeeper while I was back at the shrine. Oh well. I'll forget next time to do it again, don't worry. when he would give that to me. Alright. This is one of the hardest slash easiest zones in the game. Because, I mean, if you actually try to traverse it for real, it's hard. It's really annoying. And it's really hard. It's kind of one of those things, though, where you don't have to traverse it. I just don't remember where the uh, jump part is. Is it, like, right here? I'm going to hope that this is it. Yep. I mean, you skip the blacksmith if you do it this way, so might not be that worth it to you if you want that blacksmith. I do not care. Damn you stupid pinwheels, go away. Uh, this boss is really funny because you take a lot of damage just from jumping down there, but the boss himself doesn't have very much health. Because you're actually able to come down here and kill him really early if you want to. It's just difficult to get out of the catacombs. So I never really do it very often. Yeah, <laughs> three swings, and down he goes. Let's see which uh, face I get. Or, wait, they're uh, they're masks, sorry, they're masks. Oh, he dropped it over here. I thought I dropped. It. Maybe I'm just used to killing him over there. Mask of the Father. I don't really care. I'm not gonna use it. I don't have anything that lets me see in the dark, which might be an issue. I probably should have done that before I killed the Bed of Chaos. I was not thinking. <gasps> I don't know where I am, but I made it down.
I'm at the exit, the back door exit. Okay, I see where I am. I just need to get a little more situated. Nope, that's going to be me then. Damn it, I went too far to the left. I thought the wall went straight for a while longer. Ah, that's painful. I'm way back at the start. Oh, man. Well, I can try to kill these necromancers. They have a chance to drop their glove, and they guarantee to drop their love if you kill them all. Get off of me, you little fucks. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know I was backstabbing them. I got that one, but he didn't drop it. Alright. I mean, a lot of this is just stay calm and don't fall off shit. Oh, it's up. I'm down. There should be a necromancer around here then, right? What is this? This is the... Yes, okay, this is in here. There should be a side way out. Here it is. And this will lead to an Necromancer down below. <laughs> Got them both. Woo, I'm lucky I win the one that he was under. I was just plunge falling. I was hoping that he was there. Where are there all the pinwheels? There they are. And there's a necromancer over here around the corner. There. You die. Give me the lantern. Yes! All right. It's probably that right down here at the bottom. Yep, there it is. All right, all right. Come on, pinwheels. I ain't scared of you. So the Skull Lantern um, is also the only one of the light sources you can use down here that shows the secret uh, markings, which are unnecessary, but it's just kind of interesting. Um, they are supposedly um, secret markers that Nito left. Not sure why he would leave them, but apparently that is what is claimed to be. Uh, 
Ah, I missed it. Oh, the next one's straight ahead. Hey there, Patchy. Alright, there, got it. I made it to the bonfire. Alright, killed boss, made it to the bonfire. Oh, that's good for this video. Pick it up next time. See you then.